All right, I'm back with Jeff Uhl, the Toolbox Transformer. Jeff, it's been a bit of a wait. A long wait. I would like to thank you for all your patience and support. Uh, we had time to build a new studio setup. It looks great, so we're ready to shoot more videos. Yes, so for today, our start is the wheel modification. So we're changing the uh, original wheels on the Paco Dolly to these inflated? Yes. 10 inch uh, air inflated tires. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So you need two 916 wrenches to remove the two wheels. So one of the nylon nut will come off first. So you just take it apart. So this is the one here, it's coming apart first. You don't worry about the other side. Pull the wheel. Pull the inner wheel out from here. So now we have to bore out the uh, hole half inch, the original hole, to a 5.8 hole for the treaded rod 5.8. So we need the 5.8 drill bit. It's quite long, so you could reach all, almost all the way in. So don't worry about the, the holes here. They are previous from a previous um, project. So we just drill to right in there. And same thing on the other side. So you go right through. The hole was already bored out to 5.8. That's why, that's why it was loose. So this is what you see from underneath the case. Uh, that's why you need a long drill bit. It's to reach right here. Because it's a little bit too tight for a 5.8 uh treaded rod so we're going to take the 5 8 treaded rod bring it to the hole start screwing screw it inside the hole it'll be a little bit hard at a certain point to bring it in so what i did it's i lock nuts here so i could help myself screwing it in don't forget to put a washer first. So this washer will go all the way in, again, the case. So we're not going to uh, break the case if the rod turn. So you just screw it in up till you have about the same width on both sides. So you just tight it right to the end, not too tight. Tight enough, there we go. Okay, so now it's time to put the wheel on, the new wheel. So we need to put a washer like the other side. Three nuts. We just need to tight the first one here. Tight the second one to the first one. And the third nut. Tied it to that one too. The treaded rod, the length of it, it depends on your wheel hub. So with the width. So you put the washer against the nut. Put the wheel in. Put another 5.8 washer. A nylon lock nut. 5.8. Put it in. Tight it. It's looking good. That's only one side done. Don't over tight it. There you go. This is one side. Repeat the same thing on the other side. You already have the three nuts. So you put a one five eight washer in. The wheel in. The washer in. And the last 5 8 uh, nylon nut. This is too tight. Loose it a little bit. All right, Jeff, so why do you love this? Uh, these wheels? It's because they're softer, easier to maintain. Um, they go 
all over the place, any obstacle, there's no problem. We got so, a bit of a test course here for a demonstration. Yeah, a small one. So there we go. No noise, it's smooth and very easy to go over an obstacle. Nice. Thanks so much for showing us the uh, this wheel option, Jeff. I know we've got some other ideas involving wheel modifications to uh, to go through in the future, but this is great for now. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.